Pour me a shot. Pour me a shot. Hey, let me get this real quick. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Yahushua, giving thanks to Yahweh and the Father by him. So everything we do in word or deed, actions and speech, we got to do it all in the name of Yahweh, giving thanks to um, through, the, through his son Yahweh Shah. Right? Give me this real quick. It's the book of 2 Corinthians 2 and verse 17. Bring it out. For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God. What we don't do? Which corrupt the word of God. Okay. But as of sincerity, uh -huh. but as of God, in the sight of God, speak we in Christ. So we speak the truth up here. We go preach up upon preach up, line upon line, right? Come out here to wake up our people, bring them back to the fold, right? Give them the truth of the Bible. Not the lies that the Christianity church have given us. Jehovah wickedness, right? Seven day disadvantage. All these different religions, right? Um, give me um the book of Luke, chapter 18. Right? Start at six. Luke chapter 18 and verse six. Bring it out. And it reads, and the Lord said, uh -huh. hear what the unjust judge said. Uh -huh. Verse seven. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, uh -huh. though he bear along with them? Go ahead. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. What the Lord would do? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Go ahead. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Tell you what? Shall he find faith I'm on the ahead. earth? So this is the question we ask him, right? I'm laughing. Will the Lord find faith on the earth when he comes back? Because you look at the society, society has lost hope, right? Faith, it's no faith out here, right? Check this out. Hey, brother, you believe in God? Family, y'all believe in God? See? When he come back, when he find hope. That's what the Lord asked. The Lord, the Lord going to come back in a desolate wilderness. No one has hope out here no more, right? No one has faith. Read that again, King. Verse 8. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? That's the question. Will the Lord find faith on the earth when he comes back? When he crack that sky in the chariots with, with millions of angels, is he going to find faith on the earth? Right? And it's not looking like so right now. Right? Because what, what really, what is faith? Right? What is faith? Bring this up. It's the book of Hebrews 11 and verse 1. Bring it out. Now faith is the substance of things hoped. It's what? It's the substance of things hoped for. So look, it's things that we hope for, right? But it's like it's like everybody has lost hope, right? In the desolate wilderness of America, hope is gone, right? Because the Lord asked him, would he find faith on the earth? Read it again, King. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Uh -huh. The evidence of things not seen. Go ahead. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. By what? By it, the elders obtained a good report. So by faith, the elders obtained a good report. A good report with who? With the Most High. Right? So the Most High is looking for faith. Is it any faith in the earth right now? Right? So you can ask many of people walking by, day in and day out, do you believe in God? They say, yeah. Well, are, are, you are you walking in a, in a way that you show that you got faith? Because the Lord said faith without works is dead, right? Check this out. Hey, brother, brother, you believe in God? Huh? See that? Will he find faith in the earth? That's the question. That's what I'm saying, right? Give me Romans 10. Romans chapter 10 and verse 8. Bring it out. And it reads, but what saith it? The word is nigh thee, uh -huh. even in thy mouth, even in, well? even in thy mouth, Go ahead. and in thy heart, that is the word of faith which we preach. The word what? The, the word of faith which we preach. So we preach the word of faith, right? Yeah, come on. You believe in God? Yeah. You speak English? Yeah. So, um, uh, what would the world say your race is? Huh? What the world would say your race is? I'm uh, Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Yeah. Did you read the Bible? I used to when I was younger, not as much anymore. All right. So when you used to read, the, when you used to read the Bible, yeah. did you ever see the word Puerto Rican in there? I don't think so. Nah, right? Yeah. But God 
created everybody, though, right? Yeah. So somewhere that it should be should, should say Puerto Rican. If it was a God-given nationality, right? So we're here to tell you that it's not a God-given nationality, right? This is what this is what the world would call us, but this is what God would call us, right? Right. That's right. Now, what happened to your people? How did they get that name? Who na who la who named that landmass Puerto Rico? Spain, I think. Yeah. yeah. People, yeah. Right. Uh, Christopher Columbus, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. They, they came there, they seen how much resources you guys had. They said, this is a rich port. Are you a rich port, brother? Can somebody back a ship up on you and load a dock? Nah, right? You are human. You're not a dock, right? So we are here boldly saying that we are the Israelites of the Bible. You ever heard that before? Have you ever heard that before, that we are the Israelites of the Bible? Nah, right? You heard that God has a chosen people? Have you ever heard that God has a chosen people? Do you know who that chosen people is? Only one I really know is uh, Peter. So those those would be the disciples. I'm talking about a nation. Oh, no, nah, they're not. All right, so let me show you something real quick. I'm gonna, just give me five minutes, all right? Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Give me Isaiah 40. Deuteronomy 7. Give me Isaiah 40 for me real quick. Right. Isaiah? Yeah, Isaiah. 44. Thank you. Isaiah 44 verse 1. Bring it up. Yet now hear, O Jacob, uh, my servant. Go ahead. And Israel, whom I have chosen. Who the Lord chose? And Israel, whom I have chosen. So the Lord chose the Israelites, right? And this is what he said about the Israelites. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people. What did the Lord say? To be a special people. What is this, brother? To be a special people unto himself. Uh -huh. Above all people. What did he say? Above all people. Below. Above all people. Equal to. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord said the Israelites, who he chose, right? which you would be a part of, right? And that's according to your father, right? What is your father? My dad's brother called Guatemala. Guatemala. So, uh, well, that is. You say Zebi? Yeah, right here. So you'll be you'll be a, a so-called Zebulonite, right? You'll be an Israelite from the, the tribe of Zebulon. Now, hold up, check this out. How did your people get to those various islands? How did they get to how did they get to all that? When uh I'm pretty sure people came from other uh, other continents, right? Yeah. So so how did your people like that's this yeah yeah northern and central and south america, right? How did your people get there? They migrated. They migrated or did they get taken there in slavery? What I know, they've migrated. They like, they started exploring different like, different parts of land and stuff. Uh huh. So but did somebody come and conquer them? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The Spaniards. Right. Cause you have a Sp a Spanish last name somewhere, right? Yeah. Right. So let me show you something. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Cause you said we're above all people. Do we live like that? No. Nah, we are at the bottom, right? Do you know why that is? Nah, not really. I'm gonna be real. Nah, not really. So look, check this out. The Bible has all the answers. Check this out. Deuteronomy 28, 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. It but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. You know the story of Moses though, right? What did he do? He moved the sea, right? And then he like, he like he moved people out of where they were staying at. I'm pretty sure it was uh, people that were slaves, right? There was an Egypt. Right, which the Pharaoh said, let my people go. Yeah. Those people are the Israelites, right? Mm -hmm. So after this, after that, after that um, event that happened, this is them after they went over the Red Sea, crossed through the Red Sea, and the Lord gave them law, statutes, and commandments. Now he said, if you don't keep my law, statutes, and commandments, something is going to happen to you. I remember, he said, we're above all people. That came with a stipulation, right? Every contract has stipulations, right? Give me 28 and one real quick. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. This is what we're supposed to do if we want to be on top. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe and to do all his commandments, 
which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So we got to listen to the commandments if we want to be on high. Now, every coin, right? A quarter, nickel, dime has what? It has what? A heads and a tails, right? This is the bottom sign. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Go to observe, to do all his commandments, and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Then what's gonna happen? That all these curses, what does the Lord say? that all these curses Go ahead. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Lord said, if we don't listen, we're gonna get curses. If we did listen, we would've got blessings. Did it think our forefathers kept those commandments? Nah, cause we're not at the top, right? Yeah. We're at the bottom. Now, let me show you a specific curse that happened to, your, to, to the people that was over here, right? When Columbus came over here. Give me that, um, what is that, 747? Uh, 47? Break a nation? I think it's 49. 40, yeah, 49. Right. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 49. When, you know, when your people was over here already, right? Columbus did what? He came over here, right? Listen to this. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. From what? From far. From far. Would you say Spain is far from here? Yeah, you gotta cross a vast ocean, right? So he said, I'm gonna bring a nation against thee from far, right? Go ahead. From the end of the earth. From what? From the end of the earth. Go ahead. As swift as the eagle fly. As what? As swift as the eagle fly. What what um what did it flag look like when they came over? Here? Do you know what the Span the Spanish flag is? Yeah. Red and yellow, right? And it has what on it? Uh, I don't know what it has on it, but I don't know it's red and yellow. Hey, give me that real quick, Kadash. Yeah. Right, read it again. Uh, the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, uh, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle fly. As what? As swift as the eagle fly. It has an eagle on it. So the Lord is telling you what nation he's bringing against you, right? Check this out. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Did y'all speak Spanish before they came over? Nah. nah. Y'all didn't know their tongue, right? Go ahead. A nation of fierce countenance. A nation of what? A nation of fierce countenance. A nation that will act cruel to you. You see the bottom of that? Yeah. They're raping, robbing, murdering. Whether you was old or young, right? The Bible gonna tell you that. Which shall not regard the person of the old, uh -huh. nor show favor to the young. Neither show favor to the young. You see that? So that that that's what happened to the to the so-called Spanish people, the Hispanics. Even the term Hispanic, what does that mean? Property of Spain. His Hispanic. That's what he's saying. Like, I own you. You see what I'm saying? So even when somebody's saying I'm, I'm Hispanic, you're saying I'm a property of Spain. That's right. So we got to get out this mind state, right? Check this out. Give me um 16. This is this is how this is why we at the lowest of lows. Remember, he said, if we keep the commandments, we're gonna be blessed. If we didn't, we would be cursed. Here go one of the curses real quick. Brother, what? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 16. Cursed. What you say? It's the wrong term to make it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What you say? I am owned by Spain. It's not good. You don't want to be owned by. Who you owned by? Huh? Who you owned by? By the most high God. But that's it. That's all you're supposed to be owned by. You ain't supposed to be owned by no country or by your land. Hold on, God. Look, so, I'm owned so, by Spain. Uh, another man own you, that's what you're trying to say. Yeah. Spain. Who, you, you another cool man on you. You cool with that? Another man on you. No, the most high guy on me. Who do you work for? I work for my enemies. Who, who pays, who writes your check? My enemies. So your enemy signs your check? Yes. You pay your bills with your enemy's check? Yes. <laughs> you want to hear what the Bible said about it? Oh. I know you don't. This is just the word of God. That's why. Right? Now, let's continue on. This, remember, we're supposed to be at the top. We are. Listen to this curse right here. Right? This is why we're at the bottom. Bring this up. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 16. Bring it up. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, uh -huh. and cursed shalt thou be in the field. It said, cursed shall we be in the cities. Right. right? No matter where we go, we're at the bottom of the bottoms. The ghettos, the slums. Right? We're in the worst part of the, <laughs> of the cities. Why is that? Because the Lord said it. Remember, he said, I'm going to bless you if you keep my commandments, but I'm going to curse you if you don't. Then he said, curse shall you be in the fields. 
Did they have? Did they not have the Guatemalans uh, uh, working in fields? Right? Every Whether it's sugar cane, every right? Uh, uh, cotton fields, t tobacco fields, right? Gold mines, no matter what it was. Right? You say your mother was Puerto Rican, right? If she if she's from Puerto Rico, they had her, her, her people working in gold mines. And if you didn't bring enough, they'll chop one of your, face, your hands off. Mm -hmm. you know these other Remember, it said a play. nation they of fierce play. countenance. Right? right? To my people, what they did to my people, we worked all day and night. You didn't have enough cotton, enough pounds of cotton that would beat your back in. They'll whoop your back. Look at this. What a picture with the. Look at this. This is what they did to mine. You see what I'm saying? And brought us on But these, like these, that. these are these are curses that the Lord said, right? Now, what is your, your last name? You say you say you don't really know what 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 it's from, right? I have a Greek last name. Do I look Greek? No, nah, right? It's a reason for that. Like I say, you might you might have a, a Spaniard last name, right? So, but this is why. Give me 32. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And they say it was, they shall be given unto another people. Now, when you read the Bible, you read about Peter, James, John, Matthew, Mark, Luke, all these, right? What was their last names? They didn't have no last names. They did not have a last name. Why we have last names? Yeah, so-called Spaniard, so-called white man, the Englishman, the Dutch, the French. They gave us last names. These last names come from where? The plantation that we was owned by. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So it says your sons and your daughters shall be given unto another people. So by us just having last names, that fits that curse. Because the forefathers never had a last name. They're just known as Peter. They're known as John, Matthew, Mark, right? See what I'm saying? Go ahead. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And when they did take our kids, what could we do about it? Nothing. That's why I say your eyes will shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long and what? And there shall be no might in thine hand. See that? <laughs> Couldn't do nothing about it. Right? Now, I, was, I had asked you, right? What's, what would be your nationality, right? Check this out. The Lord called us this. The world called us this. Listen what it say. 37. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. An astonishment is an amazing sight. Right? And, and somebody saying, I'm Guatemalan, right? That's that's the name of what? The landmass, right? So you're calling yourself a landmass. I say a person say I'm African American. You call yourself by two continents. You see what I'm saying? So look, go ahead. A proverb. A proverb. A smart saying, right? All Hispanics like beans and rice. That's a proverb. It's a smart saying. All niggas they like fried chicken and watermelon. A smart saying, right? Proverbs and what? Any byword. A what? Any byword. A byword is being called anything outside your God-given nationality. A word that you go by. In Guatemala. That's a byword. Right? God never called you that. You see what I'm saying? These are curses that were placed upon us. Right? Now to the to the brother point, real quick. To his point. He said, I'm spending my, my, my oppressor's money. I'm doing this and doing that, right? Listen what the Bible say. 47. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 47. Uh -huh. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God uh -huh. with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. They say, because we didn't keep his commandments, right? Joyfully. Because he gave us everything. Right. He made the world for us. Right? Right. Everybody here is just because of us. That's, right. That's what the Lord says. Check this out. <laughs> for the abundance of all things, uh -huh. therefore, Shalt thou serve thine enemies? What did the Lord say? Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. What that brother don't understand? Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Go ahead. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh huh. And hunger. And what? And hunger. So if we want something to eat, we have to serve our enemies. We have to go to work, like you were saying. We have to get paid, and we have to go to the stores. Right? Even if we go to the bodegas where the so-called Hispanics um own it, who they got to get their supplies from? 
The white people. Go ahead. And in thirst. And in what? And in thirst. Water is free. If you don't pay your water bill, what happens? By who? Right. Oh. He said we gotta serve our enemies. Go ahead. And in nakedness. And in what? And in nakedness. I just told you, look. The so-called blacks, I say so-called, we pick seven trillion dollars worth of cotton to set up American economy. We still have to buy clothes. Does that make sense? It's a curse. Go ahead. And in want of all things. And in what? And in want of all things. You was born over here? So if you want to go to Guatemala, what do you need? A what? Passport. A permission slip, right? Yeah. He said we got to serve him in the want of all things. If you want to go get a driver's license. I need a lease? Uh, like, I need to sign up for it, right? Yeah, you got to go. You got to go. You got to go and get a driver's license from them. Yeah. Right? You want a car loan? A house loan? Anything. You got to go to them, right? A gun permit. Right? You got to go to them for it. He said, and in the want of all things, right? Now, this is how we know emphatically who we are. The last curse I'm gonna give you, right? Give me 2868. Should I finish it? Finish the reason. Oh, it's still some more? Yeah. Go ahead, finish it up. Come. It's not here. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And he said, he gonna put a yoke of iron upon your neck. Have you ever watched a slave movie before? What they put on, what they be having on the on their necks? Chains. It be brass chains or, or iron chains. Look at this. <laughs> these these are just what's gonna call it depictions, like like drawing depictions. But they actually had things like that. Right? This is this is this is a curse that only fits us. Whether it was so-called blacks or the so-called Hispanics. Right? They didn't. When have, when have the white man had a chain of iron around his neck? Right. Who? Before they came to anybody, before they used to uh, enslave the uh, the poor people of their community. No, it's same nation. Listen, they used to. They used to uh, enslave the poor people of their nation before they even started enslaving other nations. Yeah, but did they, did they put yokes of iron on them? Yeah, they did. They they treated they treated them the same. The so-called white man did that to themselves. Yes. All right. Let's say let's say they did. Let's just say they did. Right. I'm gonna just go off your logic. Let's say they did. Did they do that to another nation? Which one was it worse? Did they do it to themselves worse or to the other nation worse? Yeah, right. Let's go. Let's go even deeper. Did they butt break their own people? No. Did they do that to somebody else? They treated someone else cruel than what they treated themselves. So it's it's it's, it's on a different level. You see what I'm saying? Now, Deuteronomy 28:68. This is how we know who we are. All right, check this out. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, when Moses went to Egypt, he said, let my people go. Why did he have to say that? There you go. There was a slavery. So look, I like to use this analogy because most people watch this movie. If somebody say, look, sister, I see your phone in your pocket. Guard your phone, somebody might deboard. Everybody knows what I'm talking about, right? That's right. What am I saying? Somebody might rob me. Don't there you go. Somebody, somebody might rob her. You see what I'm saying? Because Debo known to take stuff. Right? So, if the Lord said, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt again. Egypt is known for the house of bondage or captivity. What is the Lord saying? <coughs> he said, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt again. <coughs> Bring us back. Not to the landmass, because when you read the Bible, it said they would never go back into that landmass again. So if he's saying, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt again, he's just telling you what? I'm going to bring you back into slavery or captivity or bondage, right? So when you read the Bible, you'll see that they never went back into the land of Egypt, right? So you, can, you ain't got to get that. Bring this up. 
Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. Yes. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. In slavery or bondage again. How? With ships. What? With ships. How did we get over here? Boats. Most of us. Boats. Boats, right? With ships. It's documented history. What other nation that happened to? Other than so-called black, so-called Hispanics. Who? Don't worry about it, I'll wait. Nobody. That's the answer. This is how we know who we are. You see what I'm saying? And these curses are here for a reason. Give me 46 real quick. Verse 46. This is why the curses are here. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. For what? For a sign. What does a sign do? Yeah, that, that's that's the spiritual sign. But let's just say, how do we know the B the um the, the what is that? B12 or the Q12? The BX12 come right here to this to this to this bus stop. Cause there's a sign right there saying it. So a sign is identifying market. These curses are here to identify who God's chosen people are. Right? Even in 2024, they're going to fit. Because listen what? And for a wonder, uh -huh. and upon thy seed forever. And upon your seed forever. So even in 2024, they're going to still fit. Curse that you be in the city. Curse that you be in the field. All these things. Right? Now, just with that. Right? Um, That's the curses that we went through. Why did we go through the curses? I already told you. We already went over it. They did it went against who? There you go, he went against against his commandments. Right? So what do we have to do to get out of it? No, to get out of the get out of the curses. Start, um, start going against what's normal, start. I guess. Like that's the best way I could like probably say it. Start keeping the commandments, right? Yeah. Because if us if us not keeping the commandments put us in this position. Only way to reverse it is to start doing what? Keeping the commandments, right? Do you know some commandments? Cause you say you used to read the Bible, right? Love. That's one. That's that's a good one. Thou shalt. Is it thou shalt not? Well, that's, that's breaking the commandments. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. Right, these are these are the 10 commandments that everybody always knows, right? But the sister, she brought out one that's not in the 10, where it say, love thy neighbor as thyself. Right, so it's more than 10 commandments, right? But I know you gotta go, I've been holding you up for a while. I'm gonna let the brother gonna give you a flyer. It's a QR code on the back. And some of the commandments is right there. Like, flip it over. There's some commandments right there on the back that you can start keeping right now, all right? All right. His commandments are not hard, right? It's, it's easy things to do, all right, right? Um, If you got any questions, we up here every Saturday. All right, starting at three o'clock. If you, if, you, if, you, if you want to come back and talk, all right? Take care, man, thanks, sir. You too. Have a good day. All right, bro. You have a good one, all right? Sister, what's good? Alright, so so you got any questions about the Bible? What Bible was that that you King James Version. The, the Bible that every grandma has in their house. Why the King James Version? Because it's a word for word translation. From Greek and from from Greek and uh and Hebrew. King James? Right here. I ain't got my, I ain't got my, um, I ain't got my book on. King James is a a Scot, a Scotland, a uh, Irish, uh, France, French, Rome, British, British king, who people would call him more, but himself would call a Jacobite. Yeah, a person of color. That's, that's King James right there. That's his real, that's his real, that's his real picture. Yeah, that's his real photo. That's his real photo. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> so, 
Yeah. I'm saying so. So look, real quick. So did you hear anything I was telling the brother? As far as like the curses or whatever. You know, God has the chosen people, right? I'm in line with everything you say. All and praises. We are the chosen people, right? All praises. Yes. All praises. I'm in line with everything you say. So you you know some of the commandments, sister? No. He got you. He got you. He got you. He got you, sister. No, I don't know any of the commandments. <laughs> All right, so let me but show. I do know some stuff out there by I'm gonna show you a few of them that you can start keeping. All right. Go ahead, tell me. Give me, give me numbers real quick. Numbers. Do you know what the day is? Today. Yeah, today. The 11th, I think. <laughs> Not the day. Oh, the Sabbath. All right. The Sabbath. Of course. Right. There you go. The there you go. Sabbath. The Holy Sabbath. Holy Sabbath. Go ahead. Right. Um. Do you know certain things you can't do on the Shabbat? Um. I can enlighten you. I can enlighten you. Ain't just ain't one. Um, what are you so much? Are y'all Jewish? Are y'all real Jews? Or what's going on? There you go. Okay, y'all real Jews. Well, it's only three tribes that are actually the Jews: Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. The rest are Israelites. We are all Israelites. Okay, but we. But three tribes is Jews. Okay, so the Hebrews, the West Indians, the Blacks, the Americans, are the Jews. Yeah. Okay, but the rest of the people from Israel? All of, all of us are Israelites. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you this, alright? Nah, not no on the phone. You can use the phone, right? Give me um, Isaiah 58 and 13 real quick. Right? Hold that, hold that. Give me Exodus 35 and um, 2. It's the, it's the book of Isaiah 58 and verse 13. Bring it up. If thou turn away thy foot from that from the Sabbath, uh -huh. from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, Go ahead. and call the Sabbath a delight, uh -huh. the holy of the Lord, honorable, and shalt honor him. Not doing thine own ways. Not doing your own ways. Nor finding thine own pleasure. Uh -huh. Nor speaking thine own words. So he say, nor finding your own place, your own pleasure. Right? So yeah, it can go into that, sister. Right? Nor doing your own ways. As far as like you just, you know, just out, you know, you watching TV all day. So Saturday is basically reserved for rest. Uh, rest. Rest and, and getting getting to know your God better. Getting to know worship. worship. Yeah. Okay. Right? What now Frankincense and more. Frankincense, Frankincense and more. Okay. Right? Bring this out real quick. The book, of, the book of Exodus, chapter 35, and verse 2. Bring it out. Six days shall work be done, uh -huh. but on the seventh day there shall be to you an holy day. Go ahead. The Sabbath of rest of the Lord. So no working. Right. Right. Go ahead. Because today's the last day of the week, right? Yeah. Whosoever doth work therein shall be put to death. Go ahead. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. So he said, you should not kindle no fire throughout your habitations on the day. Which means you can't, you know, get up in there, getting up on the, on the stove, you know, whipping it up. Now you could, you could, you could make stuff like far as a sandwich. Uh, you can eat cereal. You can actually cook before the, before um, Friday night and just lay it over. It ain't gonna go bad within 24 hours, right? So. It's ways to, to keep the Sabbath. Now, this too. Give me this last one. It's, the, it's, it's the book of Nehemiah 10 and verse 31. Bring it out. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals. Wear is clothing. Victuals is things to eat or, or merchandise. On the Sabbath day to sell uh -huh. that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. So we don't supposed to buy. And if you have your own business, you're not supposed to sell, right? So no buying, no selling, no cooking, right? And no your own pleasures, right? So let me ask you something. What's the difference between you, y'all, uh -huh. and Christians if y'all using the same Bible? What's the difference? Yes. Give me Matthew 20, no, no, no. 23 I, I and 1. I want your own words. I don't want to hear it from Matthew. I want you to tell me what's the difference between you and the Christians. We, do the, we actually do what we say. Okay, y'all say, so yeah. do y'all believe that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior and the Trinity and all of that? Not no Trinity. Okay. Never a Trinity. No. It's a father, but then it's a son. It's, it, yes, it's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the unction that, that actually they all move through. Right? It's the, so it, one. The, yeah. So one. No, no. They're in one mind state. Because it's a, it's a father and a son on the same level. 
It's, it's a physical father and their son on the same level. You can't, you can't say yes or no. That's, that's not for me to determine. That's an opinion. Well, I'm a father. My son is not on my level. I think, but will he one day be? No. He's going to always honor me. Okay, he can honor you. Is, is, that, is that the commandment? Uh, wait a minute. Do I honor my this son? Is the, this is not about the commandment. This is not about the commandment. This is about uh, opinion. Is it yes or no? No, it's not an opinion. It is. It's no. opinion because that's not a fact. You can't prove that you and your son, your son will never be on your level. What what level are you talking about? What level are you talking about? Okay. I'm talking about on a, the the so the the level. Your son will never be just, just as much just, as a man that you are, or maybe even a better man than you. I raised him to be a better man than me, but is that so still he can it, wait you. wait in in certain things? But will he ever be on the level of equal to me? Far as like how God sees. I don't know how God sees. I don't know how God sees. All right. All right. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can, can, okay. can your son tell you what to do? At the moment, no. But so that's he's what he's five. Basically, that's what My he's basically son is saying. five. But well, I'm saying as his son becomes a man. When your son becomes a man, say if you're 30 or 40, right? Uh -huh. Then you become 60, he becomes 40. You, when at we that first age, 11. Do, you, do you believe that you can have, give your father right now good counsel? My father's you, dead. Okay, okay well, another, a man older than you, good counsel? Yeah, you I could give him counsel, yourself. but wait, 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 sister, wait, sister, I, wait, wait, sister, sister, sister. I, would, I could give him counsel, like I have the elder right here. I could okay. give him counsel, uh -huh. but I'm gonna always respect him as elder. Of course. So you get I'm what not, I'm saying? I'm so not, yeah, I could give, I could give him counsel, but the thing is, I will give him respect. Of course, I'm not saying that's that. the that's the difference, but right? Will he give you respect. Yes, he will give me respect. So he can reciprocate. Respect, respect, reciprocate. Right, but. So this is what I mean. Let me show you what I mean. Bring this out. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I would have you know. Because God has an order. That it, it's like it. That the head of every man is Christ. So the only person that's going to be over a man for us in the household is um, Christ. Right? Go ahead. And the head of the woman is the man. And the man is over the woman. And the head of Christ is God. Even Christ has to fall in order under God. So it's God, Christ, man, woman, children. So when I say when I say level, that's what I mean. And it's a divine order. What you say? Which chapter speaks most about children? You have you have book? Proverbs, you have Sirach, you have the and, 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 and most of these right here, it tells you to raise your children how they should go. So once you raise your children and you Raise them to respect you, they will never so what's up with disrespect that, what's you. What's up with that Bible verse that's in Genesis where the, where the two daughters break the father, get them drunk and rape them? What's up with that? Yeah, you know, you what's up with Talk about Noah. Tell me about that? No. no. So, so, a lot. now, a lot. yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot. It's a lot. A lot. A lot. Now, what would, where did they just come from when that happened? I, that's not my question. I just want to know, I know what's I, up with that. I just want to You got to think about the mind state they was in. They just came out of Sodom and Gomorrah. Right? The Lord literally just overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. What was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah? The most perverse things you could think of. Right? It says it says Lot was righteous. Real quick, it says Lot was righteous. Did it say his daughters was righteous? My opinion is it was wrong. Oh, does any girl supposed to sleep with her father? Hell, you don't even breed the daughter pit bull with the father pit bull. Like, like come on. And, that, and that's in the law. A father can't sleep with his, with his kids. That's right, that's a commandment. You see what I'm saying? That's a commandment. So they was, they was off as hell, right? And then you look at the people nowadays, they, they, they got what they call mongolo, mongoloidism. So called Chinese man, that's why they eyes like that. Damn Japanese man. Moab. So, Ammon. who are they of? Moab. Ammon. <laughs> Those two daughters. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why they... That's why? Yeah. Genetic defect. So they're not descendants of uh, Neanderthals, no? No. Nah. So it's no such thing as that? The Neanderthals, like cavemen? Yeah. So-called white men. But 
Those they are also in Asia, in Northern Asia. Those the descendants of them are also in Northern Asia. The so-called white man has went everywhere. Are we supposed, we're supposed to be the Homo sapiens, right? The what? The Homo sapiens. Ah, uh, what, what is what is the Homo sapiens? Homo sapiens. Who, who I say we I say we God's chosen people, God's descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. Abraham. The sons of Abraham. sons and daughters God. sons and daughters of God. I was different to say that. The sons and daughters of God. That's what we are, right? So, back to the commandments real quick, sister. Right? That's not what I want to hear. No, wait, you just said show you a couple of them. I want you to answer my questions that I'm confused about. All right, go ahead. All right. Um, wait. John 4 and 16, yeah, that's in the Bible. John 4 and 16 or 3 and 16? 16. John 3 and 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. the other one. Um, in my father's house is many mansions. That's the kingdom of heaven. Right. So tell me about that. What's going on there? How do you get the kingdom of heaven, though, sister? Um, according to Christianity. I'm see, not Christian. See, that's Christianity, so I'm though. I'm going to tell you what I know that the Christians do. Uh-huh. I don't know how you get to heaven. They say you just believe on God. Amen. That's what they say, right? Amen. 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 You gotta get that, that's a damn fairy tale, right, sister? Well, I don't know what it is, because I... I Never been dead, so I'm trying to. You tell me how do I how do I get to the mini mansions? Give me, give me Matthew six, give me Matthew 19 16, give me Luke 10 and 25. Get out, bring it out. Bro. Let's get Christ's words himself. It's Christ's words himself, right? He in the car. Right? The, the brown yeah, yeah. Yeah. I see you all the time. Hey, you. Bring this up. <laughs> Say Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. Bring it out. And behold, one came and said unto him, uh -huh. Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So I would call this a wise young man at this point. Because okay. later on, later on he walk off. And this who's man, this, who's this, asking this? this is a rich young ruler. Okay. He's asking Christ, right? This is, this is something smart to do. You have the man Christ in front of you. The number one question you should be asking him is, is what he's going to ask. He say, how do you get eternal life? So let's hear what, what, right? So this is what Christ say back. This is it, right? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Bring it out. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? Uh -huh. There is none good but one. Right now, that cuts the trinity. He said, there's none good but one. Who is that one? That is God. That is who? That is God. So this is Christ saying that. So that cuts the trinity. That's why we don't believe in the trinity. Go ahead. But if thou wilt enter into life, uh -huh. keep the commandments. What do I say? Keep, keep the, the commandments. Go ahead. And he saith unto him, which uh, Jesus said, thou shalt do no murder. Thou shalt not do no murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Go ahead. Thou shalt not steal. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not bear false witness. You see that? Okay. Christ literally turned him back to the laws of Moses, okay. which is the law of God, right? A second witness. Give me Luke 10 and 25. It's the book of Luke. 10 and verse 25 and behold a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him saying master what shall i do to inherit eternal life uh -huh. he said unto him what is written in the law what, is, what, what, say? what, is, what is written, written in, in the law? law whatever is written in the law go ahead how readest thou and he answered he said thou shalt love thy lord thy god with all thy heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul okay. and with all thy strength and with all thy mind and thy neighbor as thyself See that? Things that are written in the law. That's how we get those many mansions. Right? Now those many mansions is, is the kingdom of heaven. Right? The kingdom of heaven. What would it look like, sister? A lot of people, uh, Christians would disagree right here. What we about to go and show you, sister, Christians would definitely disagree. <laughs> Give me Revelation 2 and 26. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 26 it and it reads and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end uh -huh. to him will I give power over the nations. He said he's going to give people power over the nations. Right. Right? right? Speaking to who? The Israelites. Right? Go ahead. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And we're going to what? And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Go ahead. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. He said, just like the most high gave it to me, I'm going to give it to you. And we're going to be able to break these nations like, like damn pots 
like 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 um damn glass pans and stuff, right? You see how they did us for our slavery and stuff? This is what we would call the white man's kingdom. This is why they, they don't want this kingdom to end. Because once this end, our kingdom is next, right? This is what our kingdom gonna look like. Bring this up. It's the book of Isaiah 14 and verse 21. Bring it up. No. Prepare slaughter. No, no, no. Uh, verse, verse one. Verse one. It's lucky. Uh -huh. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel uh -huh. and set them in their own land. Cause we're not in our own land. So who's over in our land right now, sister? Didn't you say we got many lands, so... No, it says, it says, he gonna choose us and set us back in our own land. So our own land will be what, Egypt? Israel. Israel. Right? Okay. And uh, the... The Jews. The, the ish. The ish. What does that suffix ish mean, sis? Like I said, Witches. Witches? look, like, like, like I said, like I said, yo, this brother acting girlish. It, does that mean he's a girl? No, that means he's he's acting like or pretending doing things that pertains to it, right? So they're acting like Jews, but they're not Jews, right? Go ahead. There you go. There. Exactly. They was from there. How the hell are they gonna be slaves in Egypt with, with that pigment How missing? They be native to Egypt or even native to that part of the world. Exactly. Right. You see what I'm saying? But they could be native to where I told you up there in the Caucasus Mountains. Yeah, that's, 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 that's right. what they are. That's right. From Georgia, Russia. Yeah, okay. yeah. Go ahead. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. So yeah, we broke his commandments, but he said he's going to have mercy on us at the end of the day. And set them in their own land. Uh -huh. And strangers shall be joined with them. And the strangers, which is the other nations, they're going to be joined with us. Go ahead. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Uh -huh. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Isaiah 49 and 22 says that they, they're going to have our daughters on their shoulders. I mean, they're going to have our sons on their shoulders and our daughters in their hands, carrying us back to our land. So the people gonna take us back to our land and do what? And the house of Israel shall possess them. Now sister, them shoes are your possession. You can get home and kick them off at the door, right? You can, you can fold it back up, fold it back down under your feet and walk on them like slides. You can do what you want with them shoes. They're your possession, right? We're gonna possess them, right? Go ahead. And the house of Israel shall possess them uh -huh. in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. Because what we does servants and handmaids? What, weren't we their uh -huh. servants and handmaids? Yeah. The Lord. They were doing anything to us, right? That's because we our out of our spot. That's what happened. That's not actually what happened, sister. What happened? Let me get to that. Let me finish this up. Give me Joel. Bring it up. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. We're going to take them captives because we were their captives, right? And they shall rule over their oppressors. Sister, don't they still oppress us? I would say so. Yeah, you got to pay rent, don't you? I would say so. You see what I'm saying? You got to pay rent. You got to pay. You got to pay lights. This is this is the this is the most damn thing our, our people don't understand. You have to pay a water bill. Water is free. You see what I'm saying? They, they literally oppress us. Now, to the... Tell me what happened. If they didn't try, no, no. I want to hear out your own words. Sister, I got to speak thus said the Lord. I understand, but I'm trying to ask you. All right, all right. The so-called so real Africans right. sold Israelites to the Grecians, which is the so-called white men. All right, now I'm going to read it. Bring this up. Two or three? Uh, I think two. <clears throat> Joel chapter three and verse two. No, that's not it. Three, 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 four. It's like right up. Four. Same for you. Same for you. Verse four. Joel three and verse four. Bring it up. Yeah. And what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? Now, Tyre and Zidon is African nations. All right. Go ahead. 
and all the coasts of Palestine. Now, at this time, the coast of Palestine, which which actually still is in Africa, is actually Africans, not those Palestinians that's over there right now. Right? This is actually an African nation. Go ahead. While ye render me a recompense. The Lord said, will you pay me back? Go ahead. And if he recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? The Lord going to take that recompense and throw it back on us. I don't want that shit. Because the Lord wants something different. Go ahead. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold uh -huh. and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. Because they, they robbed our temples and took it into their temples. Go ahead. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians. It says the children of Judah, <coughs> Judah, Benjamin, Levi, and the children of Israel have you taken and sold into the Grecians. That's the slave trade in the Bible. Right? Go ahead. That ye might remove them far from their border. That they may take us from the land of Israel and remove us far from our borders. Aren't we far from Jerusalem right now? Yeah. Right? C continue on. Behold, I will raise them yeah, them out of the place whither ye have sold them uh -huh. and will return your recompense upon your own head. He said, now I'm going to do back unto you what you did to them. He's going to get very specific right here. Verse 8, and I will sell your sons and your daughters. He's going to do what? And I will sell your sons and your daughters. In the kingdom, there will be a slave trade. Remember, it says we're going to own them for service and handmaids. Now we're going to sell their children. Right. Hey, and I'm going to sell them cheap. <laughs> Didn't they sell us cheap? Yeah. So is it, doesn't this Bible say that the God is a forgiving God? To who though? Oh, only to his people. There you go. He's only forgiven to his, to his people. So it's, a title, it's a title that he, he bears. The God of Israel. Okay. Okay. So, who's the God of those people from the Pope's house? Do you know? Give me that. Um, Marcos, give me that. All the other gods are idols. I want to stay and listen to you guys. They're here all the time. So Every Saturday. Hey, get us a stuff flight. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Sorry. Yeah, I'm too, but you some of my I'm, I'm here for you, sister. I'm here for you. So this God and this Jesus is only for us. Yeah, give me stay go, go just go back to Joel. Just go back to Joel 2 and 27. Joel chapter 2 and verse 27. It out. And it reads, and ye shall know. That I am in the midst of Israel. What did the Lord say? That I am in the midst, the midst of, of Israel. The Lord said, I am in the midst of his people. I'm in the midst of Israel. And what? And that I am the Lord your God. That word your is a possessive pronoun, right? Yes. Your, his, we, us, ours. Our. Right? He said, I am the Lord your God. And what? And none else. And what? And, and none, none else. else. What does that mean, sister? You see what I'm saying? So when they say, oh, he's the God of everybody. Does the Bible say that? Do they have a God or you don't know? Yeah, he do. Bring this out. It's the book of Psalms, uh, chapter 96, verse 4. Uh -huh. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. Uh -huh. He is to be feared above all gods. Uh -huh. For all the gods of the nations are idols. Are what? Are, are idols. Idols. Buddha? Are are idols. Idols. Are idols. Are idols. 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 But the Lord made the heavens. But the Lord, our Lord made the heavens. Right? And why did he make the heavens? Give me, um, give me Ecclesiastes. Give me Ecclesiastes 1. It's best to hear it from the Bible than to hear it from a man. A man can lie, but the Bible. Give me Ecclesiastes 1. I believe what he's going to tell Yes. Yeah, 1. Better to hear that one. Uh, yes. Nine, I think. Is that it? I used to be like that too until no, I can't. Okay. You can bring that. Oh, you can bring that. It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 7. Uh -huh. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, oh, yeah? and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. So we die. We die. Hey, we ashes to ashes, like that? No, no, no. Well, yeah, ashes to ashes, that's, that's, that's a saying that they basically, because in the Bible said, why earth and ashes proud, right? 
but we're from the earth, so that's why I say we're gonna return back to the dust from which which, which um which we came. When we bury, when they bury us, we go back to the dust. But the spirit of us go back to the Most High. Now it says in the Bible, it's once it's a it's once it's appointed for man to die once, then the judgment, right? So do you got that the, um the one and nine that says that under the sun, right? Is that it? Yeah, bring that out real quick. This is it. Ecclesiastes one and nine. The thing that have been, it is that which shall be, which shall be. It said the thing that hath been, it shall is that thing that shall be. Go ahead. And that which is done is that which shall be done. The things that was done is that thing that should be done. Go ahead. And there's no new thing under the sun. There's no new thing under the sun. So once we die, we go back to heaven, right? But once we're up there, it's a judgment that's passed. Then that judgment is given to you. Three or four generations after that, you come back to live out your judgment. Now, do you ever wonder why you have people walk around with legs shorter than one another? They come back all jammed up from birth. So you're saying that once a person dies, they go up to heaven, they Second Ezra is 435. Not reincarnated. Regenerated, re, re, that reincarnated. You can come back as a tree. You can come back as a bug. They are regenerated to live on the judgment. Yeah. Okay. It, so, give me that Ecclesiastes. Look up. Say, um, I saw under heaven. What light? It was a um, judgment uh, under heaven. Judgment. What did you say? What light is this? No man knows. Yeah, no man knows. It literally says, um, there's no remembrance of the former things, right? So a person, a person could be somebody who used to be great in the earth, but you don't know it. So what do you think about those children that say that they were from the past lives? Do you think that there's a stop, stopping point for that? Uh, me personally, me personally, I would, I, would, I had to live by what the Bible says. It says no, no, no. It does no remembrance of the former things. You understand? Now you can have glimpses, which would be like deja vu. There, you, there you go, deja vu. But as far as like. You just, oh, I know who I was. Because nah. remember, we talk, we speaking about the, the God of heaven and earth. The children normally actually forget that they even said that half of that stuff once they get like four or five. It's like a terrible thing that they just so and awesome. <laughs> what, is, oh, the place, you put, look at the place of judgment is under the sun. Just put that in your own book. So look. Y'all got, got a place of worship? Now that we're working on getting to school, but right now we're just, just out here. So why did they give us that um, picture of that white Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> I know it says tables, wolves, skin and cobble, I don't know. Well, well, why did they give us that picture? All right. Right? That's what it said, right here, wolves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Skin of bronze. Skin of bronze, right? Yeah. Bronze. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna get this, but let me give you one more scripture about the what you call it. What you saying? Give me Psalms 104, and I think it's 29 and 30. Just to just to solidify what I was saying, like after we go up to him and we come back, you already got that. The judgment. And moreover, I saw under the yeah, sun. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's the book Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 16. Uh -huh. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. The place of judgment is under the sun. That wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness. That iniquity was there. I said in my heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked. For there's a time there for every purpose and for every work. See that? So the, the judgment is under the sun. This is how it happens. Psalms 104, starting 29. Psalm chapter 104 and verse 29. Uh, no. Thou hidest thy face. They are troubled. They are troubled. Thou takest away their breath. The Lord takes away their breath. They die. They die and return to their dust. Thou sendest forth thy spirit. Now, once they, once the spirit went to him, he said they he sent forth that spirit. They are created. They are created. Another, another vessel is created for them. And thou renewest the face of the earth. And he renews the face of the earth by bringing them back. Now let me ask you a question. Do you also believe Hold on, let's do it with this real quick. Let's do it with this real quick. What? You said why they gave it to us. Well, so what was the answer? My, my opinion, but go ahead. Let me hear you. All right, so so factual, factual. What happened is that is Alexander, Alexander Pope of uh, six, the sixth Pope of Rome, 
This was his son, Cesar Borgir. Huh? Uh, uh, Leonardo da Vinci. They were gay lovers. Yeah. So that's that what happened, right? Give me um, first Maccabees three and three and forty eight. I think. Yeah, you can get it. So look, when you see this right here, these are worship icons. They found up. Yeah, in the catacombs, and the catacombs and all that, right? Um, Putin literally just showed the uh the the thing of of the so-called black Jesus, right? But Israelite Jesus, right? Bring this out. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 15. Bring it out. For a father afflicted with, uh, with untimely mourning, uh -huh. when he had made an image of his child soon taken away. He said he made an image of his child soon taken away. Now honored him as a god. Now what? Now honored him as a god. Now they say it's a trinity. Now he's God all of a sudden. He, he ain't just the son of God. Now he's God. Right? Which was then a dead man. Which he was what? Which was then a dead man, a dead and delivered man. to those that were under his, under him ceremonies and sacrifices. Thus, in the process of time, an ungodly custom. A what? An ungodly custom. Serving white Jesus is an ungodly custom. Go ahead. Grown strong was kept as a law. Was kept as a what? Was kept as a law. Go ahead. And graven images were worshipped by the commandment of kings. See that? Now this is exactly what they did. Bring this up. First Maccabees chapter three and verse forty-eight, uh -huh. and laid open the book of the law. And they laid open the book of the law, which is the Bible, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. Where the heathen sought to paint the likeness of their images. See, and our people, our people in the Christianity church, they can read old hair wool, skin of bronze, and yet they still serve this dude. That's the difference between us and Christianity. They don't even interpret. They don't even. Y'all take care. All right, sister. Right. Get yeah, a sister like, flyer. Wait, 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 wait. One last thing. Hey, we out here. We out here every week, sister. You got more questions. I know you loaded up with questions. I can see it in your face. Come back out here and holler at us. Right? Cause, cause with Christ find faith. That's what we was going into. All oh, praise to the Most High. He brought some people up with questions. You know what I mean? Right? Go ahead, can you bring this up? Romans chapter 10 and verse 8. Bring it out. But what said it? The word is nigh thee, uh -huh. even in thy mouth and in thy heart. Hey, brother, you believe in God? Uh, can I ask you why? If you don't mind, if you don't mind, can I ask you why? I don't have a reason why. But I believe in y'all, though. And let me ask you a question. The world would say, we have a God. The world has a God, right? Okay. You ever heard of a such thing called, called prophecy? Yes. Prophecy is what? Uh, it's like a story foretold. Things that's foretold and then it comes to pass, right? Sometimes. Sometimes. Now, if it don't come to pass, you, you're just a, a false prophet. Or you have a false prophet. Yeah, or you have a false prophet. Yeah. Right? Which would, which would basically make you a false prophet? Because not all prophets are 100%. But I got the wrong with that. I can, I can wrong with that from your standpoint. Yeah. Now, what if I told you the things that happened to our people was written 2,000 years before it happened? Well, I believe that. You believe it? Yes. All right. So the slave trade wrote down to a T. You could believe that? Yeah. All right. Us, us living in the ghettos and slums, you can believe that. Yes, I believe in God. Working in, working in the slave fields and cotton, and the cotton fields, the sugar cane fields, and all these things, you can believe that. You know where all that's found at? Yeah, in the Bible. Do you know why it's found in the Bible? You know what I'm saying? Like, why is that the things that only happen to us right now? Cause, Cause who else went to slavery on ships? <laughs> we did extensive research and we ain't found nobody. Right. right? So we read these things and we correlate with them. I can give you one verse about, about, no, no, you gotta put on. 
I give you one verse out of, out of our, why, why, why I say these things happen to us. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 46. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 46, and it reads, And they shall be upon thee for a sign, uh -huh. and for a wonder, uh -huh. and upon thy seed forever. Now, this chapter is talking about blessings and curses that were given to the children of Israel. If the, the blessings will happen, if they keep the commandments, curses will come upon them if they don't. He said these curses are going to be upon you for a sign. What does a sign do? Yeah, it directs, or it's an identifying marker. Like, we know that's the newsstand because the sign is there. Yeah. So these curses would identify who the children of Israel is. And for a wonder to make you think, how I'm calling myself black, African-American, right, Haitian. All these things are, are, are not even biblically found or biblically sound. And then it says, upon your seed forever. Still to this day, people should identify who these people are. <laughs> right? So that's why I said, like, prophecy that came to pass and it's only fitting a certain group of people that would make them the biblical Israelites that's right that's why I first started asking you like do you believe in the Bible or do you believe in God because things are actually written about his chosen people not the world right contrary to popular belief because he's not the God of everybody yeah. right so he written things about his people the things that would happen to his people so my advice, brother, is just even just look into it, right? I've already looked into it. I understand what you're saying. I believe what you're saying. But it's belief at the end of the day. It's belief at the end of the day. Yeah, it's it is. It is. It is, because look. So to even, believe in God is to have doubt with God as well. And also, we're human beings, so you could be wise and predict things for people that can come to pass. All right, so and then you can write in a book and then tell the people that they believe in it. It could happen so as, a ask, self, ask you a as a self fulfilling prophecy. All right, all right. So, so wait. Moses was an Israelite. All right, Moses was an Israelite. So he's going to write curses about his own people. Maybe. Like, let's we gonna go into slavery. Is that what kind of soundness is that? Like, you gonna wish, wish bad? Sound? Yeah. What, like, what kind of soundness is that? Like, you gonna wish bad for your nation? I'm not saying he wished bad. I don't know the guy. You're talking about something that was written in a book about him, which was written by someone else, was written by someone no, else, no, written by someone that, else down no, the line. That was actually written about him, by him. Yeah, and about about, but his, somebody's by telling his, his story. By his but someone's telling his story. No, no, that was actually written by him. He gave the law. Right, but someone's telling his story because we're not in his time. So when you reprint the words that Moses wrote about himself and about his people, He's not doing it in real time. He left those words, and someone took those words, agree or believe in what he was saying, and then passed it down to other people. So it's, it's a such thing called the Dead Sea Scrolls. Yeah. This is actually the scrolls that he actually wrote. Yeah. So it's not it's not someone writing it. It's just copying his words and putting paper. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but it still doesn't change the fact that somebody shared his story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, also, but, at this time, goes, things were simpler. You got I can, I can write a prediction about something that could happen in a week. In a week's time, in our time, which moves faster, in that time, you could write what could happen somewhere in a decade. If you are a good judge of character and you know the people around you. So let me ask you a question. You got children, right? No. You don't, you don't got children? No. You got family? Yes. So your family one day will tell your legacy. Yeah. Does that mean your legacy is not valid? No. But what's your point though? Because you just said that someone wrote, like just down the line keeps saying, um, basically teaching his story. Right. So your family will teach your story down the line, right? Yeah. Does that, does that not valid, what, does that make your life invalid? No. So, so but it, you not, can't deny that from the time we were little kids, we learned about a thing called the, 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 the phone game, telephone game. People down the line, based on their circumstances, might interpret or judge my life differently. Therefore, they might tell my story slightly differently from my family. Also, they may not know me, so they might give me a, a story or a narrative that is more in tune with what they're going through than what my family knew. I mean, it's all possible. It's not like it's like, oh, 
a hundred percent. But if you believe in that, yeah, I respect it. But no. okay, so look, and that's the point I wanted to touch on. I'm glad you brought it back. Yeah. Belief. It's all everything is belief, right? I see you got I see you got um what is it, hockey sticks, right? You play hockey? Yeah. You coming from playing hockey? Yeah. Or are you going to play hockey? I play hockey. You would you play for a team or something? Yeah, a couple of teams. Alright, so so you believe that you what you like like in the you you like the goalie or you or you're just the, one of the ones that I'm a goalie. The goalie. So you go every day with the belief that you're gonna stop every goal coming to coming to you. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So everything is a belief. Yeah, but in reality I don't stop every goal. Huh? In reality I don't stop every every shot. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't but stop but every you goal. Still go with that belief, right? Yeah. I'm just showing you that everything is a belief. You say I'm saying I agree with you. Belief. I just don't believe in God. That's what we're talking about. Everything else you're saying, you will tie to God because that's your belief. So what you I agree with everything you're people? saying, but I don't believe in God. So huh? what you believe in? People? I believe in myself. That's it? Yeah, and yeah, that's enough. It's enough? Yeah. All right, so when you, let's just say, let's just hypothet hypothetically, yeah. not, not wishing anything. Let's just say you, tomorrow you end up with your death. Who are you going to believe in? Yourself still? Right. You gonna believe in it? I can get past this. No, I wouldn't believe it's my time to die. But <laughs> you can't. Yeah. All right, bro. But I, I believe in the, the black people. I believe in that. I believe that we are the true Jewish people. But I don't believe in God. Well, we're not Jewish. Oh, sorry. We're the Jews. Oh, Jews. I forgot. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you believe that, what? Is, how do we even get named that? I have no idea. So Israel is, a, is our forefather Jacob who was named by changed to Israel by God. So if you believe that we're the Israelites, mainly by fault, by default, we believe in God. Because that's who actually gave us that name. The name even in the Hebrew, Yasha Allah, he prince power. The prince is with the power of God. Just 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 blame. Still like a jump to conclusions. That's literally what it means. I know, I, I get it. Yeah, yeah. I so what? I got a precept. What wisdom of Solomon 13 and 1? Alright, I'm gonna let you let you go. The brother said he got one verse. It was good talking with you. Hey your twin was in the last week, bro. Who? My twin. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13 and verse 1. Bring it out. Surely vain are all men by nature who are ignorant of God and could not out of the good things that are seen know him that is. Neither by considering considering the works did they acknowledge the work master. Because um, to that point, Every building, there was a, a, a master builder, a carpenter that built that building, correct? Now, with that being said, knowing nature and science, it had to be, we're, we're complex beings, uh, being people, right? Being humans. So, that being said, there had to be a, a, a creator, but just looking around at the works of nature and humans, and seeing that there had to be something greater than us to create it because we create buildings and complex things as well. Right. That's a good point. That first starts the foundation. Yeah. That that that's a good point though, literally. That doesn't necessarily mean that you have to ascribe the name of God to that and, and, and even science. Also, we don't know for sure if we had created ourselves. Look, even science, even science proved that there's a God, right? Like, I, I like to use this. The, the, the thing CERN, right? Yeah. You 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 ever looked into CERN? No. All right, so CERN, they they they're shooting particles around in this oh, big. The CERN, the CRA, yeah. Right, CERN, right? Uh, the, now, the what is the particles that they're using called? God particles. The what? God particles. So even science knows that there's a God. I don't know if that means that they know it's a God. They're just using it as a reference point. I'm telling you, they know it's a God. Oh, the Black Sea Scrolls. I, I already told you. Yeah, you already know what I mean? But yeah. But hey, brother. All power to you, man. You too, man. All right. You said At least take a flyer. God bless you, brother. Yeah. Nah, but your, your, your twin was here last week, bro. It wasn't me at all. Hey, he, hey, he looked like you, sound like you. Oh, yeah? You sure it wasn't me?
Nas and me under the under the influence or something? <laughs> nah, he one, of, he one of our brothers. But he, yeah, y'all sounding like and everything, bro. That would have been a sight to see y'all brothers together. Yeah, that would have been funny. I probably would have. We probably would have bumped heads. That would have body his head. Yeah, for real. But yeah, you say you say you finish. Oh yeah, no. Come on, give me the, give me my clothes piece up. Nah, but to add it to his point, yeah, foundation. You know what I mean? Sight created us. Yeah. You know what I mean. This wasn't accidental. This wasn't, oh yeah, hit, let, let there be humans. Nah, hey, this was complex. Even, even that, right? What Our creation was history. complex. Nothing made something. How is that? It's impossible. It's impossible. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, I got nothing in my hand. Hold up, check this out. Make something. Try your hardest. Ain't nothing there. That don't make, it don't make sense. Nothing it don't make sense. Hard. All right, bro. Bring this out. Psalm 119 and verse 157. Many are my persecutors. Many are my persecutors and my enemies. Yet do I not decline from thy testimonies. So you can have people like that. You can have enemies. You can have persecutors that come up here. But guess what? We would not decline from thus saith the Lord. From the Old Testament all the way to the New Testament, including the Apocrypha, right? We're going to stick by the testimonies of the Most High. Read. I beheld the transgressors and was grieved. What do I say? I beheld the transgressors and was grieved. And anytime we see our people not keeping the laws, that's his commandment, we're supposed to sigh, we're supposed to cry for all the abominations that are done in Israel. Right? right? Bring it up. Because they kept not thy law. Uh -huh. Consider how I love thy precepts. Uh -huh. Quicken me, O Yahweh. What we ask the Lord to do? Quicken me, O Yahweh. What do we need? Quicken me, O Yahweh. According to thy loving kindness, uh -huh. that word is true from the beginning. And every one of their righteous judgments. What is this nation on the fall? Every, every one, one of their righteous judgments. Is Esau getting put in chains? Every, every one, one of their righteous judgments. And the other nations is subjection. Every, every one of their righteous judgments. And the Israelites back on top. Every one of their righteous judgments endureth forever. Endureth forever. Endureth forever. And with that, I'd like to give all glory and honor to the Most High Yahweh. And we do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. And with that, Come your shell, death to a murder. Come your shell, death to a murder. Come your shell, come your shell.